Hello everyone. In this series of the videos, we are discussing about the mobile DNA element or transposons. These are the sequences which is present on the DNA that having ability to change the position from one chromosome to another chromosome or from one side of the genome to the another side. In my previous video, I discuss in detail about the discovery of transposons which is made by Barbara McClintock. Then I also discuss in detail about the transposons which is present in the drosophila like P element and copia element. P element which is the a well-known transposone which is present in the drosophila is responsible for a disorder called hybrid dysgenesis. Now in the same video, I give a quick introduction of transposones which is present in the maze, then bacterial transposones, then different type of a transposome like DNA transposomes and retrotransposomes and the mechanism by which this transposome can change the position within the genome uh, which is replicative or copy paste mechanism and non-replicative or cut paste mechanism. So in my previous video, I discussed uh, the discovery of the transposome which is made by Barbara McClintock in 1944. Actually, she was the scientist behind the discovery of this transposable element. She was born in 1902 and after completing BSc and MS from Cornell College of Agriculture in 1925, she registered for PhD in the subject of botany. She completed her PhD in 1927 and then she developed interest in the field of cytogenetics. In 1931, she reported complete genetic map of the maize plant. Uh, in the same decade, in 1938, she developed uh, or she discovered the life cycle of the Neurospora crassa. In between this, she also reported a technique for observing maize chromosome and she uh, reported the entire structure of the one of the maize chromosome. Then in 1944, Barbara start a famous experiment of her on the GM maize or the maize plant in which she found that some seed of the maize plant show uh, complete purple color. Some seeds show colorless pattern while uh, many other seeds are spotted. That means they have colorless background and purple color spot on the uh, kernel. And this has happened according to her is due to special type of a mobile DNA element which is present in the maize plant genome mainly in chromosome number 9 and the elements are AC or activator and DC or dissociation. So these two are the genetic sequence which first time reported by Barbara in 1944 to 1948 and these two element is responsible for color change in the maize plant. Actually, uh, after the discovery of the element uh, in the maize plant, uh, Barbara received Nobel Prize for this discovery in 1983 and in the same year, uh, Pedrov uh, discover or isolate both this element from the maize genome and sequenced. We know that sequencing is the technique in which uh, scientists determine the nucleotide sequence of the genes. So Pedro in 1983, in the same year in which Barbara got Nobel Prize, uh, analyzed the AC and DS element and found the correct sequence of both this element inside the chromosome number nine of maize plant. In my previous video, I discussed about the Barbara McClintock and transposition or transposons which is present in the Drosophila melanogaster. Now in this video, I'm going to mainly focus on transposons which is present in maize plant. Okay, as I told, Barbara start her experiment on the maize plant in 1944 and within four to five years, she performed number of experiment on the maize plant and she found that two important sequence which is present in the chromosome number nine of the maize plant, which is responsible for color change in the uh, maize plant. And the elements are AC and DS. In this video, I'm going to discuss in detail about the structure of activator or AC element and dissociation or DS element. Then I'm also going to discuss the actual mechanism by which this color change is occur in the seed of maize plant. Actually, AC or the activator is the gene or the sequence of nucleotide which is present on the maize chromosome and it is autonomous sequence. So what is autonomous sequence? These are the transposable element which do not require help of other element for transposition. That means 
autonomous transposomes like ac code the transposes enzyme required for their own transfer from one side of the chromosome to another side they can move easily without help of any other enzyme or any other protein uh, and so they are called as autonomous elements okay while ds or dissociation elements which is present in the maize plant is non autonomous type of transposome that means this element cannot code or do not show the presence of transposes enzyme so that if this ds element want to transfer they need help of ac element that means activator element will going to provide enzymes like transposes which is required for transferring ds element from one side to another side now this ac element is autonomous because they produce transposes enzymes what is transposes these are the enzyme which is required for removing or excision of the genetic element mobile dna element from donor dna and insertion of that element into the target dna and this step is generally catalyzed by transposes enzyme and uh, uh, here you can see the structure of ac element which is present in the maize genome the ac element show five exon and four entron region in the protein coding portion as well at at the end of ac element 11 base pair inverted repeats are present okay this is the characteristic feature of transposable element which is present in the plants okay all transposable or maximum transposable element which is reported in the plant show inverted repeat at both the ends okay and now in between the inverted repeat total 4563 base pair sequence is present which code five exon and four entron and we know that these exons are the actual functional region which is present in the dna while entrons are the non functional regions after splicing the and transcription and translation actually this exon will going to produce a uh, transposes enzyme and now this transposes enzymes are the protein or the enzymes or the catalyst which help transferring this ac element from one side of the chromosome to the another side because of this transposes enzyme this ac element is autonomous okay in some book they are reported the total length of ac element is 4565 okay while in some references you can find 4563 base pair uh, length of the ac or activator element so this is all about the first element mobile element which is reported by barbara in the maize plant the second element which is present in the maize plant is ds or dissociation element as i told earlier this is non autonomous element that means this enzyme do not code transposes enzyme or this particular sequence do not code transposes enzyme actually only transposes or transfers this sequence from one side to another side with the help of ac gene that means if ds element or ds sequence want to move from one side of the chromosome to the another side they require help of ac element ac element provide transposes enzyme for the ds and now the ds can change the position in the maize uh, chromosome okay another important gene which take part in the ac ds system of the barbara is c gene okay capital c is nothing but the dominant or, or wild type gene which is present in the maize plant and it is it is responsible for production of the biopigment anthocyanin and due to this c gene the kernel color uh, purple kernel color is observed in the maize plant that means production of the purple color in the maize plant is generally due to presence of capital c gene the mutated form of the c gene is small c gene okay and this small c gene no no longer have ability to produce anthocyanin pigment okay so before starting with the actual mechanism of the ac ds system you should understand uh, this three genes number 1 ac or the activator element number 2 ds or the dissociation element and number 3 c gene 
AC is autonomous element that having ability to move from one side to another side without help of any other element. DS is a non-autonomous element which always require help of AC element to change the position while C gene is nothing but the gene which is responsible for production of the pigment like anthocyanin which will going to give purple color to the maize seed. Now what ha happened exactly at the time of uh, changing color pattern in the maize? Actually here you can see chromosome number 9 of the maize plant and this particular region of the DNA having three important genes AC gene, DS gene and C gene. Suppose this is AC gene, this portion showing DS gene and the last is capital C gene. So all these three important transposable element okay, and C gene is present in this portion of the DNA. Now if this capital C gene is non mutated or present in the wild form in that case after transcription and translation in that particular seed this C gene will going to produce anthocyanin pigment and due to this pigment purple color is produced in the seed okay that means if this C gene is functional in that case you can see purple color seeds okay or purple kernel color in the maize plant this is the first case case number one okay here you can see in this case AC and DS element which is a transposable element is present but uh, AC or DS is not translocated into the C that means C is functional and because of this purple color observed. Now in the second case if AC element which is having this type of structure 11 base pair uh, inverted repeat at both the end and 5 exon and 4 entron in the functional region. Now if this AC gene is express okay and after expression it will going to produce transposase enzymes and now this transposase enzyme which is produced by the AC gene will going to act on the DS. That means this enzyme which is produced by the AC will going to help DS to change the position okay. As I told earlier, DS is non-transposome, non-autonomous transposome. Okay, that means DS having inverted repeat at both the end, but it lack one of the exon. Okay, here you can see the gap, one of the exon in the protein coding region. And due to lack of this exon, this DS element cannot produce functional transposomes. According to many scientists, these DS elements are generally produced from the AC element due to deletion of one of the portion okay, of the AC element. So they are nothing but the mutated form of the AC element. Now once this AC element produces transposase enzyme, it will going to help DS element to migrate into the CG. Okay, so the action site or the target site of the DS is capital C gene. Once AC provide transposes enzyme to the DS, DS will going to migrate and get inserted into the C gene. Suppose this is the DS sequence. It will going to dissociate the C gene. So it is called as dissociation element. Okay. Once this DS got entry into the C gene, the normal structure of the C gene will going to disturb. C gene get mutated which will going to lead to production of small C gene. And as we know that small C gene is no longer able to produce functional or uh, anthocyanin pigment. And due to attack of DS on the C gene, C gene get inactivated, the C gene unable to produce the biopigment and due to which uh, the kernel color in seed got lost or you can observe colorless seed. Here you can see purple color but in this case no color development occur in the kernel. Okay? This happened due to inactivation of the C gene which is occur due to DS element and how DS element get entry into the C gene with the help of AC. So this is condition number two. Now in the third case 
if this ds element is already present in the c gene that means c gene is already inactivated at the beginning okay so as i told if the c gene is inactivated seed will going to have colorless appearance okay that means seed do not produce purple color but sometime during the development of the seed ac will go element will going to act on the ds element which is present at c gene that means this ac element will going to express it will going to produce functional transposes enzyme and now this functional transposes will going to act on the ds element which is present inside the c gene and due to which this ds element will going to move away or it will going to excise itself from the c gene once this ds element uh, is migrated away from the c gene now this c gene get activated that means small c going going to convert into capital c and once this conversion occur this capital c gene become functional and start producing pigment and due to which this happened in the later stages of the development initially seed become colorless but after this reversion in the mutation due to attack of the ac on the ds now pigment production is initiated and you can see a spot of purple color on the seed so many seeds of the maize plant show spotted appearance and this happen due to reversion of the mutation of the c gene which is caused by the ds element because of the attack of ac so this three important type of pattern of the color which barbara mcclintock observe in the maize plant and this pattern is generally occur due to two important transposable element which is present in the maize first is ac or the activator and second is ds or dissociation this is all about the ac ds system which is present in the maize plant so in this series of the videos i have discussed transposons in drosophila and transposons in maize i am going to give link of my first video in the description box in the next video i am going to start with bacterial transposons we know that prokaryote like bacteria generally have dna transposons while eukaryote like plant and animal have retro transposons okay maize plant may have 80% genome composed of transposable element while drosophila may show presence of 15% genome uh, which is made up of transposable element while humans uh, show shines and lines uh, comprises 45% of the total genome showing transposable element the study of the transposable element become essential because this is the uh, element which is responsible for number of genetic disorders and cancer in animals thank you